Well then, we should get started. Come with me, we are going to get some materials. Well, Tell me, have you ever worked with Adamanthral? Adamanthral? You mean Adamantine? It... no. Adamanthral, it is... is... It's a material we created. Is it like... It's... an alloy between Adamantine and Mithral? It says tough as adamantine and as light as mithril. No. I don't. Know. I've not even worked on adamantine before. It's expensive. Well. You're in luck. I hope this will be a wonderful learning experience for you. She nods. As she continues walking. Another wonderful property of Adamanthral is its magical capabilities. It's able to... Well, you've seen Kashra, haven't you? Yes. His armor is made entirely out of menthol, and it's outfitted with very powerful gems. That menthol works almost as a conduit of sorts, almost like a battery. And? That, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's a battery. What more do you want? Oh, um, it's essentially. Uh, it's essentially sorry. the only thing that keeps him alive. I take it this alloy isn't something that we would be able to find very... Normally, no. She simply shakes her head. It is only here, and it will remain here. Perhaps if I think you are worthy enough, then give you a small bit to work with. Hmm, she pauses. Hmm. I wonder if we still have some disiron. Anyways, uh, she walks you all to the armory, and she uh, puts in a code, and it just kind of like, shh, just, just like, kind of like doors raises upwards. Modern technology. Yeah, it's great. Future, it's the future. The future is now. <laughs> the, the future is now, old man. Alright, as you go in, it is, this room is filled to the brim with all kinds of odd looking weaponry and armors. Its designs and shapes are nothing like... Um. Are nothing like you've ever seen before. How how many of them are the size of me or bigger? Not many, actually. I take it there I... are a few, but not many. I take it most of them aren't uh, angular shaped. Um, make a perception. I was just <laughs> making an observation. I wasn't actually looking. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind then. Never mind then. I can't um... wear armor. Sleight of hand. Oh no. My cannon. Oh no. You steal a. Uh... <laughs> you steal some dust. Some dust. That's some good dust. 
Yep. But, um, so so some... she just looks over and Lily's like trying to like scrape onto a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty big cannon. Um, but no, uh, some of these things, not ungulate shape, but it does, they, some of them do look like, with a little bit of, uh, trickery and wizard, you could <laughs> probably battle. use them. Not if you don't have proficiency. So, could Waffle use any of those? He has the technological weapon proficiency after all. Ah, uh, there are a few oddly shaped guns. Um. Mm, uh... I forget, yes. do we know what the name Oh, sorry. Yes, you know what her name is. Uh, what it's is her uh, name again? Jane. Jane. Uh, Jane. Um, yes? I might have noticed a few weapons that interest me. Hmm. I don't blame you. This is my favorite room as well. I actually created most of these. Ah, oh, that's impressive, actually. Yes. There are many of a great deal of weapons and armors that I've created. Kashra's armor as well. I created that from scratch. To both act as a life support unit and as a weapon in of itself. Hmm. Maybe even less different than I thought. <laughs> People are wonderful once you get to know them. Don't you agree? Not always. Hmm. Well, Sometimes. I never imagined that the uh, uh, person who took over my country was also a, a giant eldritch abomination. Well. Sometimes. Learning about people can be great. Just sometimes. She notes. Well, if there's anything that catches your fancy. Hmm. I may part with one or two of them when the time comes. Look for the big guns. Alright. Let's see. What do we have? Well, the first thing you spot is this odd looking arm cannon. It uh, seems to be about the size of a human's forearm. Uh, is it the Metroid gun? No. Does it look like it requires surgery to equip? It. Hmm. You have to replace your whole foreleg. It looks like uh, the end of it has a little like metal piece. It seems to uh, attach to someone who had like a prosthetic yeah I, I figured however next to it are these um, 
Next to it are a set of cartridges that seem to be part of part of the seems to be the uh, the weapons ammunition. They're like small, colorful shotgun shells. Hmm. She'll keep it in mind. Uh, Let's see. What else is there? There is... Hmm, there seems to be this odd little, uh, metallic eyepiece. Literally like a fucking Terminator's eye. <laughs> and then... Sitting like uh, on a pedestal is just this massive looking piece of heavy ordnance. There doesn't seem to be a trigger at all. There's the gun and a handle. But so, this thing is huge. It's about the size of if it, it's pretty much the size of your torso. Oh. That's just generally the ones that stand out with your perception check. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, the queen continues moving further back into an area where it's just uh, like columns and columns filled with chunks of vibrant, colorful metals. She finally walks over to uh to one of the lockers and she grabs a small little sack and she begins filling it up with this um kind of dark bluish metal And then you see her grab a few bits of this vibrant blood red metal. Aha. Yes, I am aware of blood red metal. Yes. Maybe. This is the expensive shit. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, once she fills it all up. All right. And we have everything needed to construct a proper body. Understood. Now, come with me. We're going to need to forge this quickly. She heads with her. All right. You all head over to uh, a room where it's just one giant forge, all run by these um, short, stout, human looking people. 
are these the dwarves? These are fucking dwarves. As she as she walks in, you see her uh, pull a um, uh, pull some kind of little rope, and you hear, just hear this massive kind of loud whistle. And you hear one of them saying, "Yeah, I hear one of them in the distance." All right, line up, boss lady in the room. Yeah. And you see about a total of 30 of these of the short guys uh, just kind of lining up. Okay. Short in relation to us or short in relation to other humans? Short in relation to other humans. They are about as tall as you guys. Yeah. They are very short, stout, uh, beefy, hairy humanoids. Their beards are really good. I've never seen A lot of them are very decorative. I've never seen a human with fur before. Yeah. One of them in the corner is, uh, his beard is shaved, so he, uh, he's a shunned. Nah, no one here has a shaved beard. <laughs> if they do, they're in the fire. <laughs> well then, that escalated. <laughs> Did you actually say that? Uh, you've never seen a human with fur before? Did you actually say that? Sure. <laughs> like, oi! We no humans. We be dwarves. <gasps> uh, uh, Lily pulls out the dagger. Uh, does this look like something made by one of our kind? He, uh, you see him pull like a like a little like um, small magnifying glass that he put puts over his eye. Aye. You recognize dwarven crafting anywhere. It's pretty good. Not as good as us, though. <laughs> we be greatest forge in all of reality. And picked by the boss lady over here. Well... We'll be working on building a body now. Construct. Mm. Can you deal with magic? There's a big commission. But we dwarves can make anything. But magic, well, we can make the body. The boss lady generally deals with the magic side of making constructs. But you want body? We'll make body. Best body. Yeah, yeah. That's... The Queen of Diamonds uh, hands him the sack. This is what we'll be using. Yeah, looks it over. Aye. This is... Quality metals. Adamanthral and... Ah. The lady brings us this iron. This iron? Ah, yes. Let me pull it. Because it's, it's a metal from my Saturday campaign. <laughs> That I actually really love. Wow. Is that it? Hmm. 
could have sworn I was in files. Which iron? This iron. Hang on. <laughs> this iron. Give this me iron. A Give me a moment. I actually gotta find this fucking. But what do they know about the reverse? <laughs> oh no. I should go. <laughs> Wait, you should go. Oh no. Don't end conversations right in the middle. I'm Commander Hang Shepard, on. and I should go. I should go. <laughs> I'm trying to find this. Whatever. I'll explain it later when I find it. Anyways, he uh he takes the medals. We'll get to work on this immediately. Now, what kind of body are we looking for? Uh, Lily points to herself. As she yawns. Yes, she owns it. Like, yeah, she looks really weird for a unicorn. Never seen one like her. Aren't well, they usually uh, the what is it? Uh, Pastelli? Yeah, yeah, you pastel. know the they, the um the, the two dwarfs are talking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah like the one with the. Does he have the thing on her ass? <laughs> Lily, do you have a tattoo? Uh, put the intelligence check to remember. Oh yeah, those university days. <laughs> so, does she remember the tournament? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> well, there was an odd-looking unicorn with a tattoo on her butt. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, that's... Uh, where where have you seen unicorns like that? Uh... I've seen one. Uh, what... They're, like, looking around. We don't remember the name, but the boss lady... Works with some of these things from time to time. We see him around every now and then. Big ones. Colorful hair. Lily's the most colorful unicorn I've seen. Anyways. We go work on this now. But yes, um... Preferably... The uh, if you're painting it, the colors should be black and black, <laughs> purple, ish. More of a, I think it's more of a magenta. Well, that's something like that. Magenta <sighs> highlights. <clears throat> Understood. All right. Let us get to work, boys. They all just kind of go, they go, ah! and they all immediately go back to uh, work in the forge. They're an enthusiastic bunch. Uh, the Queen of Hearts turns back around. This may take a while, so. Yes, uh, if they'll be done today, tell me. I could help with the yes. magical aspect. This should take a few hours, so... Head back to your world for now. I'll contact you all when the process is finished. Do we know where to go? Balthazar will lead you back. And then when the time comes, I'll inform you myself. On her way back, Lily walks over to the arm cannon and tries to cut her leg out. <laughs> oh no. Lily, no. Lily, no. She 
She's gonna go full necromancer. <laughs> full necromancer, yeah. She just chops head on hoof off. <laughs> yeah. She's right. like, next I'll get the eye. <laughs> <clears throat> There's enough uh, uh, enough pieces in the armory to turn Flame Lily into a cyborg. Alright, so. You guys head back. I don't have anything left here to do. Okay. Alright. So. You all head back. Balthazar leads you back into the room. In his, in his, uh, this time in, back in his regular human form. As he reaches the room, he speaks to you. <sighs> you can understand. I know. Even now, you probably still have your doubts for the queen, correct? A few. Some. I know she doesn't seem like it. She's really trying her hard to help you. She's been more forthcoming lately, and it's, I think it's helped. With the disappearance of the King of Hearts, it's... She has been... on edge. So she is trying to be a bit more, for lack of a better term, nice. That's I'm fine. Well then, she will contact you when we are ready to continue. You see him put on a a, uh, a odd glove. It seems to be this black glove with little odd green lines Power glove. kind of just going through it. In fact, you see a little bit of odd surging magics going through this line. And you see him raise up two fingers, just press, like, the air in front of him, and a portal opens up. Well, I step through it. Alright. So everyone steps back through. Yes. Alright. And, uh... As you all step through, you wind up back in the alleyway. Beep boop. Oh, and I guess there's some unconscious ungulate in this alleyway. Yeah, but I don't know who they are, so yeah, I keep you walking. Don't you don't know who that is. Who is that? Good question. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Since I don't know who that is, and Hoshan's about to burn them to death, I'm going to assume they passed out from heat exhaustion. Oh, no. Yeah, they're not a long way, right? Then I create water on top of him. Just 45 liters, 45 gallons of water. <laughs> Do you actually hit him with 45 gallons of water? Yes. <laughs> Alright, incredible. Okay. Wow. You're hit with 45 gallons of water. That's a wake up. <laughs> so while he's, walking so towards up. Up, while he's walking towards her, and then the water falls and sprays all over everyone. <laughs> just, just, it just drenches the entire highway. Oh. <laughs> well, he turns to waffle wetly and <laughs> Maybe you should warn me next time. No. Turn, turn turns to turns to him wetly. I mean, load. <laughs> Motherfuckers. That Look at this being that. carried that away the by the tide of it. Well, I'm sure they're oh, cooler no. now. He's too tiny. Oh, yeah. It seems that this person is yelling at you. And seems to have Incarnadine's voice. Or did oh, did she oh. disguise her voice as well? As part of her disguise check? That's a good question, did you? 
Nope. I doubt that she would be able to keep that up. <laughs> so it, it is a it is a random random, up, but it seems to have Incarnate's voice. It's just it, it looks exactly like Incarnate, but it's just like those glasses and nose and mustache. <laughs> it's, it, it's yeah, no, it's it's just Incarnadine with a must. Did, did you get polymorphed or something and left in a back alley? Lothal dumps a bunch more of water on, on him, her. <laughs> Waffle, please. Does it wash off his mustache? What kind of disguise trick was it? I forget. Was it just a disguise kit? Or was it... I think it was a hat of disguise, actually. I I think it was no name, the grid. The grid. Oh, so it was actually a class ability. I thought it was both. No, it's a it's a feat that you can take as a deed. Yes, but I thought it was actually bull. So Who what do you roll against these guys? I think perception or sense motive. I honestly don't think you need to. Since you clearly know. Oh no. That is not <laughs> enough. Where did Grenadine go? Uh we are looking at you. She just disappeared, and this other person took her place. No. <laughs> well. Was she... How close to the portal was she? She was, uh... About a few feet. Closer towards the uh, the end of the alley, not not like not the end where the portal is, like the the front end. I mean, we've seen you run afoul of casters before. Doesn't seem that out of the question. Polymorph thing. Oh no. Okay. Roll damage. Crit damage. Nadine, do not do. Is that you are vet from water? <laughs> do I'm want... not going to shoot. What? what do you mean you failed? That's not how a coup de gras works. That's not how a coup de gras works. <laughs> you can coup de gras yourself whenever you feel like it. Except you take AOOs. No, you have to be a <laughs> <have to> <laughs> <helpless>. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So people people could stun you, I guess. Or you, disarm you. You have to be helpless in order to coup de gras yourself. I think no, you, you, you can like coup de gras that. yourself whenever you want, actually. I yeah. know this rule. I mean, you, why is there a rule for this? What a wonderful <laughs> rule. You can get suicide whenever you want. Whenever you feel like it. <laughs> whenever, why, you know, why? whenever you're just like, you know, <laughs> we actually, I'm tired we of living. We made this, we made this joke. In my shadow of the game, with like a monk, it's like, <laughs> with like Lit slightly question a monk's vow. He just like breaks his own neck. Hang on, I have something. I have something to show you then. <laughs> Anyways, so. There is, I guess, an incarnadine here. Maybe, I don't know, anymore. She might have gotten washed away. I'm, I'm not sure what she's doing right now. Come with us if you know. want to live. She, she's taking a shot, taking a bath. So normal. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is actually... Swerve, this is actually her happy face. I'm Sounds smiling better. right now. <laughs> I'm so happy I could almost choke you. No, I think that has to do with laziness. <laughs> 
Why are you collapsed in a random alleyway? Uh, did you redisguise yourself or something, Incarnadine? We we were looking at her. Yeah, I was like tried. I think uh, a ring is just like you're full of shit. Yes, Nadine. You do know us. Yeah. But you can't talk, so you just gotta... It oh. basically works as the spell at the caster level of the item. Mm -hmm. Isn't a how to disguise a constant effect, though? Oh, is. wait. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's, yeah so it lasts as long as you're wearing the hat. So, if you want to say the hat got knocked off by all the water... You yeah, know, that, that's why I asked if there was a disguise kit or a spell or something. But if it's a hat of disguise, then yeah, I don't think that would wear off. Just as long as you're still wearing the hat, it should be still functional. <laughs> Take it off, put it back on, fool everyone. Where, where'd you go? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, did it get washed off of her head, or did it just disappear? Good. We, I guess we can say it got washed off, and it is floating away in 45 gallons of water. <laughs> Wyoming points to it. Whoosh. As it floats away. You, 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 hear, you, hear it, you, you hear the head. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Here, I'll roll a uh, spellcraft to identify him. <laughs> I mean, what's it look like? It lo I don't know. Is it an easily identifiable hat? Is she going That's... after it? Or is it just like a paper bag? <laughs> no, it's, just, it, it's 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 uh, it's 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 just a uh, a face, like the fucking <laughs> the paper plate face. Spy... Yeah, <laughs> the paper plate face, not incarnadine. <laughs> Well, uh, Incarnity is running after the hat. Well. Do we want to follow? Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> nope, that's that's exactly what it is now. I've decided. DM rolling. DM rolling. Well, yeah, but we don't see that when it's disguised, though. <laughs> because it's a great disguise. It's a great disguise. Also, I gave Lucas Slorvish and didn't even use it. It's magical paper, so it's not getting wet. <laughs> well, even with 45 gallons of water, it's not going to wash it too far away. So. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's not like a tidal wave. No, you don't have to catch up with it. You don't. Uh, no, you don't have Get to roll. Get out of here, you know, with your tidal wave. Water evaporates. I freeze the water. Oh no! I can do that. Uh, you are never That's something I can literally do. I never say get that water out because it's not frozen in the. No, this, ice. this, this, the water quickly evaporates. It's it's hot enough that like uh, it's hot enough that. Maybe about like five minutes, most of the water has evaporated. Too hot. I Too hot. At the time, it has been washed down the mountain. You need to walk like 10 kilometers just to get it. 
Good thing Bao can't feel it. Yes. She she wraps it tighter around her face. <sighs> so is this really what she's been doing? Getting drunk? And wandering around town with disguises? Wasn't she supposed to be cleaning bathrooms last time we checked? Maybe that's why she is in a disguise. Probably. <laughs> a man which is still <laughs> is still in that bathroom. He's passed <laughs> out drunk. <laughs> no, he's not even passed out drunk, but he's up to his up to like his knees in cans. <laughs> Where's he? He just keeps reaching into a into a bag of holes and like, pulling out more. Yeah, just crack. Ah, Pepsi for tabletop game. Pepsi. Alright. <laughs> he, he doesn't need to recycle. He'll get a. He'll get incarnating to take out the recycle. Exactly. No, see, he's just it, waiting for her uh, to get back. <laughs> No, he's he's gonna he's gonna put it all in he's gonna put it all back into his bag of holding and then he's gonna go just recycle it. Oh, yeah, into... that's true. There's no Pepsi here. What what what's the Hoshan brand of cola? Um, cola. Oh, it is um. Volcano <laughs> cola. No, no, it's a uh... spoilers. Hoshan is sponsored by Fago. <laughs> Oh no. Nah. Anyways, so. N what, uh, you have found Nadine. She has reclaimed her bag of disguise. <laughs> And after all of these shenanigans, you, uh, the lot of you hear a voice in your head. Yo! Can you hear me? Sandwich. How do you keep doing that? Yeah, message is a wonderful fucking thing. Can you hear me? Yes. Alright, I need y'all to come up to the, uh, Up to the uh, office. I need to. Uh, we need to talk about the whole uh, evacuation thing. Mm -hmm. Last minute planning. All right. Oh, also, uh, if you see Incarnadine, tell her she's got about, uh, uh, you see him, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. We sure see him do Pauses, it. pauses for a moment. 384 cans to clean up. Will do. Not quite yet, Nadine. Who is here oh. right now? Huh. You don't say. Well, bring her up. And then he just uh, ends. Come on, Nadine. Time to go. Yeah. We better go hear about the evacuation thing. Dead mare walking. She'll be fine. Probably. Is she trying to run away? 
Good question. She can. She has. She has been duct taped to the boat. That was fast. Well, oh, no. it's up to him. <laughs> Magic duct tape. Waffle is suddenly in the zone again. I mean, duct tape is pretty strong, so... I'm sure she will run away again, right? No, definitely not. Well, you know, she certainly won't If now. she did, she would realize that I can find her no matter how far she runs. I guess you are. What is this crazy... Technology duct tape. It's the magic. The walk, was this introduced by Flag as well? No, it was introduced by Manwich. Ah, oh. it, it was given to him by the gods. <laughs> it's it's a dwarven product. Dwarven it, made duct no, tape. It, it is the it is the building blocks of the heavens. It, Are you doing a skip? A uh, strength check and so we'll skip out. Don't you know ninety nine ninety percent of Hoshan is actually duct tape. Wow. Wow. Uh, the rest is what what the hell is that? The that, the, re uh, the the rest is uh <laughs> the body that, that hard as steel thing, you know. The 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 rest is duck so, bones. And it's not oh, a yeah. strength duck check bones. to to get rid to get out of grapples in Pathfinder. Check. No, it's a CMB. Like CMB. Yeah, so CMB. I, my brain was blinking. Either that or a That's okay. Artist. All my brains are. Oh, my brains. All my one brains. Oh.